It's a problem that has Metro homeowners squirming. Rodents are on the rise this time of year. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield shows us how to keep the mice away. This friendly Egan three story is more than a house. It's a home. Well, we raised our children here. We have two children and yeah, it is a spot to gather. It's a place the savages welcome home their kids and their grandkids. But lately they've had some visitors who are not welcome. Mice. Yeah, hear them and then, you know, if, if you put poison out, then they die somewhere and they smell, so. So she called in the pros. You don't seem surprised. Not one bit. Scott Dorn says BOGO pest control is extra busy this season. All of the oak trees produced a massive amount of acorns, and that is a direct correlate to the population size that we'll see with mice. The extra tree shedding is causing a feeding frenzy, so mice are eating well and finding their way indoors for warmth. They'll rub their belly on this and urinate on it, and then the next mice will follow this up. They'll go right up into the corner, which leads right up into the attic where their favorite places are to nest. One thing that's frustrating, it's hard to tell where those mice are coming in. As it turns out, they can get into an opening that's less than a half an inch. All right, it's time to fix some holes. He says cinder block foundations are especially prone to gaps. And then I'm going to reinforce it with this mesh material that makes it impossible for the mice to chew through it. So sealing the foundation is the best way to make sure those mice don't play. Get rid of them. Goodbye. Yeah. Good riddance. <laughs> You're right. In Egan, Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO News. The expert we spoke with says if you are setting traps at home, mice love peanut butter and chocolate syrup.